on YouTube, it's your boy OG Teammate, and today we got Drake made the worst mistake on his Sexy Red song. Now, I don't know what song they talking about. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, as an extra. Yeah, go fuck with my boy. He he makes some W ass videos, not gonna lie. But, yeah. <clears throat> let's see what he talking about. Let's get straight to the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, come subscribe. Without that being said, let's go. Pop y'all. We finally got the opportunity to see how Drake would recover from the L he mm -hmm. took in this beef. Some people are saying it's not over. There's tracks that are still going to drop. They won't stop mentioning each other. I hope that's the case. Because while I did say that I enjoyed how the beef was handled by both in terms of how frequent they dropped, I also said that I'd like for things to extend a little bit. Like having three, four tracks drop in a day, it just doesn't hit the same. You don't want the climax of the beef to happen so quick. You want to be drawn out a little bit, like a movie, but you don't want it to be like 12 hours long movie you wanted to be a couple hours long maybe two two and a half it felt like we got a 15 second short film with this beef so the fact that or the possibility that it may go on is something i'm looking forward to but as of now mm -hmm. drake took the l it's objective anyone saying otherwise is probably quite delusional but the first thing that drake does after all of this is hop on a track with sexy red now granted this i don't know about this verse specifically he probably changed up hey if you live in one of the yeah ah uh, shit drake let let me find out you done did that same shit that you did back then changed up the verse but he had probably given her this verse a while back they were on tour together i think he brought her out on his tour she went with him on tour they've been cool they've had a relationship friendship obviously okay they've been cool for a while so it's no surprise that he appeared on one of her no it's no surprise that he collaborated with her on music. They've also collaborated on music before. I'm pretty sure he had her on For All the Dogs on, uh, I think it was a Rich Baby Daddy song or yes. another one. Their, their initial collaboration was her being on his album. That's what I know. After that, I'm not too entirely sure if there was a song between that and the current one that dropped, which is You My Everything. We need a couple of things to put into context. Number one, you guys remember the cease and desist that mm -hmm. got sent to French Montana. We haven't heard of Drake addressing this, saying it was a lie or anything. So I'm going to believe that it is true. That when Rick Ross said, hey, you had this verse that was going to drop on French Montana's album and you decided to pull it and make sure that the song didn't come out. We have that piece of information now. So why is it that Drake didn't pull this? French Montana and Drake have had a way longer relationship than Sexy Red and Drake. Not to mention the fact that him pulling a song or pulling a verse. Oh, you pulling music? Drake. Come on now. And to do it with a female over somebody who you had a relationship with longer? Hell. Ew, fucking lame for that. No cap. From a song like this, at this point in time, they gotta understand. And if they don't, who cares? But they're gonna understand. Like, okay, we understand this is probably not the time that you want to have the song appear. We can release it later under different circumstances. But he decided not to do that. Okay, so Drake hops on this. The verse is... The verse is good, but also they switch up the beat, and this had to be Drake asking for this, to the BBL Drizzy beat, which is the instrumental. The first time we've ever seen a producer beat a rapper in a beef, a musical beef at that without even having people jump i mean he had people on like that and he kind of kicked all of this off but he dropped the instrumental that went crazy and this is another thing that i saw academics say this and a couple of other people i don't know if anyone else was saying this but i don't believe this was a good attempt at drake trying to be like hey look i can hop on this track or this instrumental that people are making fun of me with and say yo i'm cool with the the doctor this is a tactic that drake's tried to use in this beef and it can work but i don't think it's working for drake right now like for him saying oh you're ma you're making a beat about my like my behind like that's kind of weird or when he came at or no when he replied to rick ross talking about being a white boy and he's like yeah that sounds like it's got a ring to it i mean that did go come off hard on that song but trying to lean into it it doesn't it doesn't work too well in this scenario because number one we're going to talk about bbl drizzy then we're going to zoom out and we're going to talk about the song and then we're going to zoom out a little bit more so the bbl drizzy thing it's with metro boomin so metro boomin keep in mind i wouldn't say this started this way but one of the key points of the beef that he had with drake was he took drake off no he didn't take drake off of the song he had a song with drake that was supposed to appear on his last album i think it was heroes and villains i believe so 
this is probably maybe like two albums ago. This guy's been dropping so much music. He's going on a legendary producer run right now. And we're focused on all of these rappers. Meanwhile, what other producer is doing? Yo, please. I was about to say Metro Boomin. I was about to say Not Nice. Who's the guy... Yo, it's not even mustard. I can't believe the Canadian producer, Murda. Yo, where's Murda on the beat when you need him? We need a Murda on the beat run. Like, look, an album from him or something. I think he's been dating that, like, Brazilian singer. Is he still mm -hmm. doing that? Anyway, so Metro Boomin, off rip, he was the one that said, nah, I don't need a Drake song on my album. Which, I wouldn't say is disrespectful, but that's a puff in your chest move. Like, ah, I don't need you. I've got these other people. And the album ended up doing phenomenal. And I think Drake, people were saying Drake wasn't too happy about that because it wasn't like Drake pulled it. Metro Boomin chose not to have it on there. And then, like that happens, a bunch of things happen in between. But like that happens, which is Metro Boomin song. He kind of has that like solo in the middle of the song, which is pretty cool. He has Future coming at him a little bit. Hit song. They I think it went number one, top 10. One of the biggest songs of this year. And Kendrick Lamar really kicks things into gear on another level after first. This is your brain. Mmm. Okay, so now we getting now we getting into the depth with the you know how Metro Boomin came into the beef because I didn't know how the fuck he you know I just I just know that Drake was dissing Metro too and I was like Metro the nigga who make beats why why oh shit so you just got Future you got Kendrick Lamar back on his first verse and who knows how long mm -hmm. that wasn't a Baby Keem verse and he's coming at Drake now Drake is in this beef and Drake he this is you after Metro Boomin sends all these tweets, he says, yo, shut up and make some drums. And Metro Boomin mm -hmm. kind of becomes a joke for a little bit, just a brief period of time. However, in that time, Metro Boomin listens and he makes some drums. He makes his BBL Drizzy beat. He drops it. He tells people like, yo, have fun with this. Best verse gets to keep uh, the beat. I don't know what's the deal with that. I think he's just going to let it rock. So that happens. And now everybody is messing. The instrumental is incredible, but everybody's making fun of Drake now off of this instrumental. So Metro Boomin didn't put a song that you had hopped on on one of his beats. He left you off. The next album, he has people dissing you on one of his beats. You try to clown him. He makes an instrumental that disses you. And then pretty much he forces you to hop on his own instrumental that he didn't even ask you to hop on. Mm -hmm. That's dissing you. There is no possible way you could spin it to Drake somehow getting one over on Metro Boomin by having the BBL jersey beat. No way. So yeah. this, whatever advice was given to drake to yo hop on this song nah with the context that we have with metro boomin and drake that doesn't work now if metro no, boomin no. was actively trying to get drake to hop on beats or to get a verse and drake was dubbing him he's like nah nah we're not doing that we're not doing that you can't put this out and then drake does this that's a different story because he's like yo i'm i'm gonna hop on this beat now but i'm gonna kind of spin it to my own you try to make fun of me you didn't or you wanted me to get on these beats that would help you out and i chose not to but this one i'm gonna hop on this one that would there would be a case to make there however that's not the case here so drake takes an l for hopping on that metro boomin takes another w for that it's kind of like metro boomin is he pretty much waved the white flag he's like okay i'm part of your army now i'm putting on your coat zoom out a little bit this song like i said drake's drake's verse is good but this song is like a trash sandwich you know you've got the trash up top like the the top you've got inside in the middle you've got the drake patty which the patty's pretty good mm -hmm. no homo on the meat no diddy none of that his verse is pretty good even the bbl drizzy beat obviously and then you've got the trash on the bottom that holds it together which is whatever sexy red was doing on that this is one of the worst pieces of music that's been released and this is another reason why i gotta ask what was drake thinking what perhaps he had to have heard the entire song there's no way they're clearing the song without listening to the entire thing so they had to have heard the song did they think i'm trying to put myself in their head did they think that oh not nah, the contrast from how good drake's verse is and from how wax sexy red is going to make drake so shine and they're going to say yo this is a drake song is, is that what they were thinking because that's not what ended up happening. I could see that line of thinking because that happens relatively often. For example, on Look Alive, Black Boy JB wasn't trash on Look Alive, but there's a clear contrast to somebody that's really, really good on the song and somebody that's okay. He's getting carried along for the ride. Or he's somewhat contributing, but Drake is just contributing at such a higher level. In this song, it's just garbage. It's embarrassing to music. I don't even know how sexy Red let this out. I don't know how... Uh, God bless the engineer, because if this sounds like this right now, imagine how bad it sounded when the engineer was trying to work with something. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, sometimes I wish I could just be sitting in the room with these engineers that are, I don't know if they're engineering it with her or afterward. If they're solo, I just want to sit in the room. Yeah, yo, what are you even going to do with this thing? And I want to hear their honest thoughts. And it's, it's not going to be public or anything, but it's just like, yo, we got to turn. This thing is garbage. No matter what I do to it, it'll still be garbage. But I'm going to try to make something <clears throat> out of it because that is truly magic. Well, mm. it still ended up trash. But yeah, this is really bizarre move. Drake stands. He kind of got a... There's no way you can defend this, right? Hopping on this song. Would you have told him to hop on this song? Would you have... So basically, what I'm hearing is... <clears throat> Y'all heard about the Metro Boom beat. Metro Boom, you know... Excuse me. Took Drake off the album, you know. Put... Did a... Um, did a fucking song... With Future and Kendrick, while they about them dissing him, Drake come back talking about shut up and go make some drums. He made the drums, dissed you on the beat that's now going crazy. And now you got on there because I, I think I listened to the song with that he's talking about. And yeah, that's just, I'm sorry, Drake fans, y'all are, y'all are down a thou wow right about now. Yeah, um. Not gonna, not gonna hold you. But anyways, it's your boy OJT Man. That's the end of the video. Let's go to these comments. Drake is just tone deaf. Mm, 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 mm. Kendrick verse on Euphoria where hey, he saw Drake as a bad thing. <laughs> so bad. Ah, that's funny. The way how fast Sexy Ram became friends with Drake. He got features. He's just gonna hurt in the long run later. Because she... Cause he ain't going for when her career is that that is true. He's not. And it's sad to sad to hear it, but he not gonna help her. Anyways, this boy OGT Man signing out. You dig?